Welcome back, it's Lillian and thank you for stopping by. Hi, long time no DIY. So today I'll be filming, I'll be showing you how to make Irish pate, how to use Irish pate to, um, to make your hair to shine, you know, to make the, give your hair that healthy look and healthy benefit that you love. So that's what I'm going to be showing you how to use Irish potato and some other ingredients. So keep on watching, please don't skip the ass. Yeah, let's go. So I'll be using this sizable Irish potato. It contains vitamin B, C, iron and zinc, which helps in stimulating hair follicles. It promotes unhindered hair growth. It prevents hair fall. So I'm going to cut them into pieces. Then again, I'll be using this sizable ginger. Ginger prevents hair loss. It, pre it prevents premature graying of hair. It also promotes hair growth, so I already sliced them for so that it will be easy for the blender. So I'm going to put them into the blender. I still have one other ingredient to add, so keep on watching and don't skip the ads, okay? So I'm going to write ahead to blend them. See how it looks like. Please don't add water because it have Irish potato has its own juice. If you are not if you follow me on this channel, you know that I've done this calf to my sieve. So you see how the texture is so beautiful and so fine. Like I've mentioned before, please don't add water while blending because it has its own juice. So I'm going ahead to squeeze out the juice. This is so good. You see it? This will help your hair. It doesn't matter the kind of hair you are carrying, it's just for all the hair types, you know. Not only for non texturizer any type of hair. So, to do with the chaff. Please don't throw the chaff away. I'll show you what to do with the chaff. This is what the chaff looks like. Wow. The chaff is so smooth. See? So part you can skip it but if you have dandruff it's necessary you are going to add lemon just squeeze out one teaspoon of lemon and add to it remember it's one irish we are using and a sizable amount of ginger then one teaspoon of lemon that's all if you watched us to this point thank you so much so for easy application get a spray bottle or something that will be easy for you to spray to use for your hair so i'm trying to the bottle something like a spray bottle that i'll be using to apply it on my hair to avoid getting everywhere messy you can also use cotton wool you can just damp it into your cotton wool and damp on your hair so right now i'm gonna have to start applying that on my hair you can apply it after you your hair is washed or when you're about to wash your hair any hair you want it doesn't have a bad odor then for the chaff i say continue what i can tell you what to do with the chaff if you have a good oil like coconut oil olive oil you can just put plates in a pan and add the chaff there that will make your oil it will infuse into your oil the chaff of the ice potato and the ginger will infuse into your oil thereby making it Irish potato oil or ginger oil, whichever one you want to call it, is very good for your hair also. So I didn't have a good oil, that's why I didn't make it for you to see. But it's just so simple like this. Thank you so much for watching. You can apply it as many times as you want, maybe three times in a week. Like I've said the the before, any type of hair, you can use it on any type of hair. If you are watching to this point, thank you so so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.